Hi guys! Today we are going to talk about the pothos variety, you know, commonly called as the money plant in India. So it is the ultimate house plant ever. It's the first love for every plant mommy out there. Now uh, there are a plethora of uh, pothos variety. I have a few of them. I'll just, you know, show you uh, as I go on with the video. So this variety here is the golden pothos, the most common variety found in India. It grows as weed, it grows, it is sold at uh, various nurseries at different different prices. You can get a cutting, you can propagate them in water, you can propagate them in soil as the case goes on by. So yeah, this is the golden pothos. You, this plant basically is a very uh, easy, easy, easy uh, plant to take care of it doesn't require it is not finicky at all about the soil mixture about the watering conditions about the lighting conditions it can survive in uh, low to low light to a harsh to uh, high light as well so as you can say see here these uh, are the ones which have been placed at very low light conditions in my house which would be my bathroom so these two are the plants which I keep in my bathroom. You can see they are flourishing. There's a new leaf which comes uh, out every uh, two, three days and so on. But one thing I notice in this particular uh, plant in the bathroom is that it doesn't have variegation. So what I've observed in my, uh, during my care with, of all this, this plant is that the more amount of light you give to this particular plant, the more amount of variegation it gets. So like this one, this is, this stays completely outdoors 24 seven. It tolerates drought, it tolerates uh, rain, it tolerates high temperature, it tolerates the winter season and it's still standing strong. It's still standing uh, beautiful. It has a lovely mixture of colors of uh, yellow and green on them. So yeah, that is the golden pothos range which I have. I have one more uh, golden pothos in my balcony uh, garden which is trailing up uh, one of the pillars. I will uh, show it to you a bit later. Next on my list is this beautiful variegated pearls and jade pothos. It's also called as the enjoy pothos. Uh, actually, it's there is a slight difference between the pearls and jade pothos and the enjoy pothos. So enjoy uh, pothos will have a bit narrower leaves and a bit smaller sized leaves. Pearls and jade looks exactly the same. It's just that it has a slightly bigger uh, shaped leaves than this one. So I have this plant for almost five years now. It's one of the first plants I got when I moved into the, uh, this house of ours. Just look at the different layers of variegation on the leaves each and every leaf is different it has almost four to five layers of variegation wherein you see the white color then a slighter uh, you know a sap green color then the dark green color then there are some speckles it's absolutely wonderful so the way i have made this plant bushier is that it's a very common tip again you just take cuttings propagate them in water for 10 15 days the moment they get a bit of roots you just put them you know stack them into your into your uh, pot that's how your pot becomes fuller and it has been growing and growing and growing for me i'm super happy when i look at this plant I, and i feel so content that i've achieved something in life so i have kept this plant uh, on top of the uh, fridge in my kitchen there where it gets partial sun obviously the leaves have a tendency of uh, you know moving towards the light but yeah i think it's doing pretty well in that spot it has been there in that spot all throughout since it had been with me so yeah this is the pearls and jade, uh, jade pothos next on my list would be the neon pothos so i again have had this plan for almost three years now earlier i didn't uh, know how to take care of this so i had kept the plant in harsh sun which is why the leaves have had started you know yellowing and they started withering it lost its neon uh, color 
so it was there uh, in that situation for quite a quite some time then it got infested with mealy bugs also again mealy bugs is another scare for house plant owners i will talk about mealy bugs later so uh, i had to take a lot of effort to you know uh, retaliate this plant i had to chop off all the leaves i had to chop off all the branches and propagate whatever i could save in water and then finally after a long wait i revived the plant to its full glow now it's it's in, it's in a completely shaded area in my house and it's growing beautifully as you can see next up is the manjula pothos it is very similar to the uh, pearl and jade pothos but it just has bigger wider more or less uh, you know heart shaped leaves if you can see and the uh, major difference in manjula pothos and uh, pearl and jade is that manjula has a lot of white leaves if you can see these two new leaves which have uh, come out these are white in color so pretty right so uh, i have uh, this as a uh, cutting as of now i don't have a full plant i got this cutting uh, out of somewhere and then i propagated it in uh, water for some time once it rooted i put it in soil so once the lockdown uh, gets lifted and all the nurseries open again i wish to get a more uh, fuller uh, manjula pothos because it's beautiful it grows again very fast and the similar conditions uh, uh, you know less of water le uh, diffused sunlight indirect light and yeah it's so pretty so the last one in my collection in the uh, pothos segment is the marble queen pothos i simply don't have any words for this plant just look it's so pretty like each and every leaf is beautiful each and every leaf is unique in its own way it has different varie variegation to it it's it has speckles of uh, white and green all throughout the leaves it's simply beautiful this uh, plant stays on my balcony in a shaded area it gets uh, morning uh, uh, sunlight i would say a watering routine would be uh, twice a week again because all my plants are getting really dry during this uh, summer season summer is it's really hot these days and we've not uh, had rains also for the past 3 uh, 4 days i would say at least in my area i haven't had rains yet so uh, this is again one of the most beautiful and most sought after pothos variety which we uh, see in the entire house plant community so that's it i am done with my collection of uh, the prothos uh, plant which i have the scientific name for uh, this plant would be epipremnum aureum and quite a plethora of varieties right anyway so um, under this category there are two more uh, variants which i don't think are uh, yet to be seen in the indian uh, plant community one is the scindapsis pictus which is a uh, satin pothos i will uh, share a picture with you guys um that is not yet seen in uh, bangalore at least um if you any of you own that particular plant scindapsis scindapsis pictus the satin pothos do let me know and do share pictures also i think i have seen that plant available in certain online websites in india but then it's overpriced with them i am dying to get one of my own but it's you know i'll i'd rather wait for some more days and once the price goes down a bit i would surely consider uh, buying a satin adding a satin pothos to my collection the second one which is rare to the indian market and is a rare plant i would say under this particular variety is the Cebu blue path pothos It's not seen in Indian market I have seen a lot of uh, plant uh, house plant owners in US and UK have that uh, own that plant in abundance but till now I haven't seen that in uh, any of my local nurseries or in India uh, as such I haven't even seen that plant in any of the online websites. So yeah, if in case any of you are interested, I would 
let me know i would look that up and you know let you know in uh, where in how you can get and get your holes on that particular plant so yeah guys that was all about pothos uh, today if you have any further queries please do ask me in the comment section i will reply uh, to all your queries and uh, hope you are keeping safe uh, during this quarantine period and please do like and subscribe to all my videos it would be highly encouraging for me and yeah stay tuned for more videos thank you bye bye